Hey guys, and welcome to Petrolped. And welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog, uploading a new video every night at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. What a beautiful, beautiful day we have here in the UK. But today, I feel it's time for another Peddler's Rides. And I thought I'd treat you to some supercars. Or, to be more precise, Super COVID-19. Now, as you might know, we have a new feature on Peddler's Rides. It's called Peddler's Pups. And there are two pups for this particular episode, and they are Maisie and Buster. Now, Maisie and Buster, I know these dogs very, very well. And um, they are both schnauzers. Now, your Peddler's Pups don't have to be schnauzers. I know the first three that have been on are all schnauzers, and my two dogs are schnauzers. I have a soft spot for them, but they can be any dog you like. Make sure you send them in to me. I'll put my email address in the description below, and maybe your dog can start in the next Peddler's Rides. Don't forget to put their name as well. Anyway, back to business. So, for the first video on this episode of Peddler's Rides, we're actually going to head over to a guy I've met a number of times because we both like to frequent the Aero Club Cafe. So, Paul Lewis. Now, online on Instagram, his Instagram handle is at Bispal. I shall put links below. And, well, Paul, you could be in two categories, my friend. This is a Super COVID-19 special, so clearly you're going to have a supercar or five. <laughs> so yes, you could easily be in coronavirus as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll hand you over to Paul to show you around his unbelievable car collection. Hi everyone, here we go. A quick tour of some of my cars. So as you can see, what we have here is a McLaren 675LT in chicane grey. One of only possibly about 60 coupes in the UK um, and 500 total worldwide. Fantastic car. I bought this in January. I did 2,200 miles in this car in the first seven weeks of ownership and it was absolutely faultless. Stunning car to drive and if we have a quick look inside we can see it's got the two-tone multicolour seats which the Club Sport Professional pack has. Um, the interior and also you get the titanium rollover bar and the um, track telemetry pack. The rollover bar in this one has actually been covered in Alcantara by previous owner by MSO and new so quite a nice feature. So we drove all around North Wales in this just three weeks ago. Um, absolutely brilliant car. It's so enjoyable, so quick and sounds amazing on the upshifts when you're at full RPM. There we go. Car number two. Um, what we have here is a 981 Boxster Spider. So I've had this car just over a year. Um, we use this to go touring in, so we've been all around Europe to the Dolomites, to the south of France. It's a fantastic touring car, um, sounds amazing, fantastic with a six-speed manual gearbox. Again, I'll just go inside here. You can see we've got the um, three seat choices with this car. We've got the carbon fibre folding buckets, um, which I think are really, really comfortable. Um, sat in them no problem, the manual gearbox, the extended stitching, um, sat nav, it, it's got everything you need. The hood is absolutely a doddle to use, don't believe what anybody tells you or what you read. It literally takes about 20 seconds to take up and down. Um, great touring car, if anything a little bit firm on UK roads. Of all my cars probably got the most compromised ride comfort um, even more so than the mclaren which is absolutely stunning um, in terms of ride comfort and composure then we've got my little mark one mx5 here i've had this several years it's the third one i've owned um, i can't really be without an mx5 i absolutely adore them this one i've spent a lot of money on this car probably 
three or four times what it's worth. Um, done nothing, absolutely nothing to the engine, but it's got Meister R coilovers, got some little interior bits of trim there, the Momo Prototipo wheel, um, Mohair hood, rotor grid V wheels. Um, still enjoy driving this a lot. I think it's an absolutely fantastic car. Um, very clean this one. It's a 1996 and it's done just over 60,000 miles, just turned 60,000 a few months ago. And here we have my Exige 430 Cup. Um, this is a one of one in right hand drive, Type 49, which Lotus made for their 70th birthday. Um, it went at the Goodwood Festival of Speed up the hill in 2018 um, and also has been featured on Top Gear. It's a completely unique car, fantastic to drive, just so connected, um, really good fun, very very quick for a manual. I think it's a quote in time is 0 to 60 in about 3.1 or 3.2. Got the the lovely wooden gear lever there, um, all stitched in Alcantara. I've had this car again for way over a year, um, done about 4,000 miles in it. Really enjoy driving this car, it's absolutely stunning, fantastic car. Um, as you can see behind the bins, got a little Vespa 250 as well. And then out in the street at the moment got the um, Audi S5 Sportback which is just about the dullest car to drive in the world um, very good at being a car but terrible at driving to be honest no steering feel nothing so yeah so this is my little collection hope you enjoyed it um, good luck Pete and all the peddlers and speak to you all soon where do I start with that one? Now I've seen your 675 LT up close and it is a thing of great beauty. A beautiful car, arguably the best McLaren they've ever made. And maybe one day I might get a passenger ride in it too. Your Porsche Boxster Spider is stunning, but the thing I love most about this video is your MX-5 got as much love and comments and is clearly just as favoured by you as all the other exotics you've got. And that Lotus of yours is very special, my friend. But yes, thank you very much for showing us around your car collection. Uh, it's truly spectacular, and I'm sure we're all just a little bit envious now. Now, now where I'm gonna go? Well, I'm now gonna go over to a guy called Gavin Allen, although online, more often than not, you're called Super Gav. Actually, your Instagram handle is supergav1967. Again, I'll put in links below. Um, now, I'm not gonna tell you what the car is because Gav does a brilliant reveal at the beginning. All I need to say is, Gav's a bit of a fan of control and shift. Hi guys, Super Gav here. Um, and just uploading some content I thought I'd never upload, but uh, since Petrol Ped asked, and I've been a long-term follower, here we go. And also give these guys at Control and Shift a shout. Um, yeah, my best buddies over there, and uh, Joe as well, good shout out for Joe, and of course Petrol Ped. Um, I thought I'd put this quick video together. So what is Control and Shift actually stuck onto? And apologies because of lockdown, I'm having to record this in the underground car park. So uh, I hope you're all keeping really safe and well out there. And uh, yeah, observing all of the government regulations, stay safe and healthy. So what is this actually attached to? So if we just draw back a little bit, um, it is my 2012 Lamborghini LP570-4 Gallardo Performante. Um, so quite a mouthful, um, as you can see, in stunning orange. Um, the lights in the underground car park really not doing the car justice here. Um, pretty fair to say V10 naturally aspirated roar that this car makes is absolutely astounding. When I was in the market for looking for another car, um, to complement the, the SVR, which also makes a big noise, and clearly I'm a big fan of petrol stations. I was looking for something a little bit more old school, um, and when this, this vehicle came up for, uh, for sale, I thought, this has got to be it. It is very, very old school, but super car performance. 
It's basically an Audi R8 in disguise, but with the Lamborghini flavor. Absolutely spectacular vehicle. Um, it was the Performante that I was specifically interested in, stripped back, lightweight, um, and literally carbon everywhere. Um, you know, we can see here on the back details here, um, all of the, um, the diffuser, all in carbon. Um, absolutely astounding noise. Um, yes, and uh, yeah, big shout out to Petrolhead Tours as well. That's actually where I first met Joe on one of the tours um, and hope they're all keeping safe as well, um, given their business is likely to suffer in the current crisis. But Petrol Ped, I'm sure you'll agree, um, quite a stunning car. It feels quite difficult to video this in you know, these uncertain times. Uh, but since you shouted out in YouTube and you requested, um, I think this, this absolutely makes sense, you know, to go into the, the, the supercar territory. Just absolutely awesome in every single way. Fully paint protected um, with PPF, uh, just to be sure. Um, carbon ceramic brakes everywhere. And the, the carbon details are just stunning. Everywhere you look is, is carbon, all along the side here. Um, the trademark LP570-4, the small sprinkling Performante that is Lamborghini. Let's just have a quick look inside and the carbon continues, the carbon fest, if you like. It's all carbon on the, uh, the door cards, completely stripped bare, um, fantastic, fantastic seats. They really do hug you, um, particularly when you're pushing on a little bit. Um, carbon all up the uh, the central tunnel here. Yes, it's a little old school, not the most modern in terms of entertainment, single clutch gearbox, but my word, does this car sound great. Absolutely stunning, particularly in uh, convertible format, a truly, truly stunning vehicle. Um, it is pride and joy, uh, of course, and uh, yeah, it, the, the, the lights here in the underground car park not really doing the car justice. But I think you'll agree that um, as, a, as supercars go, it might be a 2012 uh, vehicle, but having said that, it's got 10,000 miles on the clock, absolutely perfect in every way. The thing really for this is the noise. Um, and we'll do a little start-up uh, video as well, just to accompany it as well. But Petrol Ped, thanks for reaching out. Awesome channel, mate. Um, doing some really great stuff. And uh, yeah, being a bit more of an old timer myself as well, I'd probably call this my midlife crisis. But uh, yeah, this is the stunning Lamborghini LP570-4 Gallardo Performante. <sighs> Breathe. Um, you'll probably see on some of the videos that uh, you know I've occasionally appeared on, uh, particularly on Joe's channel. A uh, big shout out again to Joe, good mate of mine. Um, yeah, I, I do love a good laugh, but this is probably a little bit more of a serious video. Um, and again, Petrol Ped, awesome channel, mate. Really love the content. Keep it up and uh, hope you're staying safe and well. So I'm going to end with just a little bit of a startup video, and you'll see that in a second. Stay safe everyone, keep well, keep isolated, and we'll soon be back to being able to drive these monster vehicles, whether they're old, new, or somewhere in between. Look after yourselves guys, cheers. Lamborghini Gallardo Puffamante Spider in orange. Lamborghini goals right there. What a car. And I, I've kind of seen some clips of that car online of you giving it the beans on the road. And obviously, thank you very much for giving it a rev at the end, but nothing compared with the howl that that car makes on the road. And one day, my friend, I really do hope to meet you. Maybe I'll go on a petrol heads tour uh, and meet all you other crazy guys that go on there. I've spoken to Joe about it a number of times and he always raves about those petrol head tours. So yeah, guys, check out petrol head tours as well. I will put their details below too. Um, but yes, thank you very much for that. Stunning car in every way. Um, I think you'll agree, guys, that now when I again asked for your videos, I knew I would get some supercars and I've still got some more to come. So don't think that this is the only supercars I've got, but I bunched those two together because I just thought they were exceptional cars and I wanted to share, share them with you. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much, Gav. Um, 
brilliant absolutely brilliant anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed that if you have done so please give me a thumbs up comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to petrofed for plenty more content to come and i'll see you on the next film guys but you take care stay safe i think i might just chill and enjoy the sunshine up here on darcy ridge very nice although i think i need a beer <laughs>